striking the Ohio State Fair left one person dead and a number of others who are fighting for their lives this morning. All right, a ride breaking apart 30 feet in the air. It, her, her, it just flew off. The whole thing flew off. Her leg hit. Well, her leg hit. Her leg just like flew off her whole leg. <laughs> And then the door hit the ground. <laughs> he wasn't An 18-year-old man was killed on impact. Seven more hospitalized. Three are in critical condition. The rest are serious. The manufacturer of the fireball rides said today that this is the first time that there's been an accident of such tragic consequences involving one of their rides. We now know, though, that all fireball rides worldwide have, at least for now, been temporarily shut down. The deadly accident at the Ohio State Fair, a popular ride, breaking apart, riders sent flying. The chaos afterward, one person killed, seven injured, people waiting in line watching it all. And that victim, an 18-year-old who had just enlisted in the Marines. Tonight, that ride is now being shut down across the country, and ABC's Alex Perez is in Columbus. Tonight, the hunt for answers as investigators trying to pinpoint what caused this amusement ride at the Ohio State Fair to break apart midair. <laughs> On the ground, complete panic. Bystanders carrying away the injured while others help first responders administer first aid. A ride called the Fireball broke apart in midair. It sent terrified riders crashing into the ground. One of them, a recent recruit to the Marine Corps, was killed. Seven other people were also injured. And new tonight, we have learned the identity of all those individuals. They are as follows. We have 36-year-old Tamika Dunlap from Reynoldsburg was injured in that accident. 42-year-old Russell Franks from Columbus, 19-year-old Kaziah Lewis from Columbus, as well as 22-year-old Jacob Andrews from Pataskala, 18-year-old Jennifer Lambert from Columbus, and 19-year-old Abdahibakim Hussein from Columbus. There was also a 14-year-old boy who was also injured. His name has not yet been released. Investigators are going through every inch of the accident site, searching for any clues that might help them figure out what went wrong here. The fireball at the ride at the Ohio State Fair broke and people went flying. This morning, new details about the ride behind that fatal amusement park accident. It busted and people went flying. Documents obtained by ABC News show the fireball passed state inspection by four different inspectors just hours before the deadly accident killed one and injured seven riders. The documents from the Ohio Department of Agriculture say the ride, which earlier this month was used without incident at a state fair in New Jersey, passed more than 35 inspection criteria on Wednesday. Wednesday, checking off items like no visible unsecured items and motors, clutches, and controls functioning. But this morning, questions about what exactly went wrong. I saw their face before death. Like, they knew they were hitting the ground. They knew they were about to die. The ride's manufacturer instructing officials everywhere to cease operation of the ride until further notice. Officials in North Carolina, Illinois, California, Indiana, New Jersey, and Kentucky immediately following that order. The fireball, manufactured by Dutch company KMG, swings riders 40 feet above the ground, spinning them at 13 revolutions a minute. The company now among those investigating what happened to cause one of the six spinning gondolas to detach from its supporting arm. This particular piece of equipment was manufactured in 1998. It has been subject to several service bulletins over the years, including a 2007 alert about structural fatigue of a swing arm weld and a 2009 bulletin about the shoulder restraints. A spokesman for KMG, the Dutch company that manufactured the ride, told newspaper NL Times that KMG did the maintenance until a few years ago. He said he's not sure who took over maintenance of this particular piece of equipment after that. The ride had passed its initial inspection at the Ohio State Fair, and records show an annual inspection last October of the ride's structural components and of the pins used to attach the gondolas found no defects. But officials say it's simply too early to draw any conclusions about exactly what happened last night. I don't want to.